What's up? Jeez. Not feeling it today. <clears throat> Not feeling it. I had to drag myself in here. Trying to... Trying to fucking be productive. It's a struggle. It's a fucking struggle. I ain't even gonna lie. But, you know... Might as well try to make the best of it. I'm here. The thing is, like... It, the weather's beautiful and shit. And... and uh, but I just feel like shit. I don't get it. It sucks. What's up, John? John's here too. I just got an email. What the fuck? Another work order. God dang. What's up, Eric? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of like feeling kind of nauseous and shit. So uh, it might be a short smoke break because I can uh, can barely think and shit. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm going through. It sucks, you know, because I like to not feel like shit, but I feel like shit, and uh, I'm like dizzy and shit too. Mike says titties, titties are cool. Jonathan's here. What's up, Jonathan? Got this cotton mouthy. I got cotton mouth. Beatty's here. What's up, man? So yeah, this is Smoke Break with Dylan. I'm the host, Dylan. It's the show where I try to put together a show when I'm not feeling like like that good. And uh, yeah, yo, Lumpy Neck, what's up, y'all? Man, just chilling, just chilling. I've gone into like bare minimum mode, where it's shower, get my ass to work, and eat. That's what's up. You know, sometimes I wish I could just like sleep all day and uh, not have to deal with the world. But I don't have that option. I got people dependent on me, you know? And so I got to drag myself through the day. You say, you stay on that NOS. <laughs> yeah, when I'm really fucking tired, I'll drink it. Uh, but I got the sugar free because the sugar free is healthy. Yeah, that's what they say. Scott's here. What's up? Jonathan says titties and beer. Yeah, titties and beer are cool. Ugh, fuck or some shit. Hey, uh, for everybody who just shared it, I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing the video. This is Smoke Break with Dylan. I already said that part. Yeah, this is Smoke Break. Thanks for watching. It bugs me out. Rip it. No. <laughs> Whippets? No, fuck some whippets. So I got some shit um, I wanted to talk about. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was there was this 14-month-old kid who went to went to the fucking dentist at a at a some dentist office in Austin and they put her under they gave her anesthesia you know to make her pass out and, and like you know go to sleep or whatever and she didn't wake up and they were putting in eight root canals and eight fillings in this 14 month old girl and she died she stopped breathing and this dude that, that uh, is doing the investigation, I mean, they sued and they did this whole wrongful death suit and shit. Um, but apparently it's pretty common if you have uh, SNAP or WIC or whatever, you know, that uh, government assistance fucking dental care and shit. They, uh, a lot of times they put these patients, these children through unnecessary dental work uh, because it's covered by medic, it's covered by their, you know, SNAP their whatever. And that fucking pisses me off, you know, when you're, uh, when, when the dentist tries to upsell you shit, um, that's, that's weak. That's fucking dumb. Don't be trying to upsell medical attention that you don't need. That pisses me off. Rip it's energy drink. Ah, uh, to be money whore rich. Baby shower tonight for all my friend. Free food BYOB at Chris's. Sorry, tomorrow night, baby shower or a tea party. What's up, Jennifer? Jennifer's here. And it's like, when did upselling become become the standard of practice with, with dentists? You know? Fuck that. I, I don't agree with it. And I think there's a lot of people that have been doing unnecessary dental work just because it's, hey, it's covered. Fuck it. Let's fill these teeth. Um, let's fill these teeth and some root canals and all this other shit. Uh, don't worry about it. They don't need it, but it's covered. So we'll, we'll get our money on the back end. Fuck that winter hey hey Lindsay's here what's up Lindsay? cameron's here how you guys doing welcome to the the bare bones minimum episode of the smoke break um 
it, it's it's rough it's rough going through through the day like this I, I try to be productive and then part of me is just like oh, I want to fucking go sleep <laughs> but I can't you know because I'm on the clock and, and yeah whatever the army did a root canal on the wrong tooth oh shit I did I ditched my dentist in 1994 for upselling us that's fucking dumb you know I don't understand how they can get away with this shit it doesn't seem like, I mean, it seems like if you need a cavity filled, you have it filled. Not like, well, you kind of got a cavity. You might need it filled. Let's go ahead and fill it anyway because you might get a cavity later. Like some preemptive dental work and shit. Fuck that. Uh, anyway, this 14 month, she was a year and two months old. And they're doing all this shit to her mouth. And they, they put her to sleep and she didn't wake up. She she stopped breathing, and I'd be fucking pissed if I was the parents, and they're suing for like a million bucks. I think a million's kind of low, uh, but but fuck that, piss me off, give me a give me a fucking headache and shit. There are whole cosmetic dentists that that foe us in doing unnecessary shit for a whole lot of money. Dewey's here. What's up, Dewey? Scott says, uh, so now I got two. <laughs> Only needed one at the start. Oh, shit, that sucks. I had a tooth pulling in jail. That shit sucked. Oh, damn, that sucks. Beatty says, got me a Mexican girlfriend who works at a dentist office. I go to her boss now. $20 of cleaning, kapow. That's a good deal. Case is here. What's up, Case? Eric says, how did she need root canals when she hardly had any teeth? That's what I'm saying, man. Um, these are like baby teeth. They're going to fall out anyway. And they're putting all these fillings in her teeth. And it's just like, who the fuck? Who was it? Whose bright idea was this? It seems like some fucking dentist has like a commission, like a sales commission or a sales quota that they got to get and shit. That's fucking dumb. Shannon's here. What's up? That's why doctors don't like messing with putting kids to sleep. Eric is here. Dewey says, love you, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Love you back. I'd be fucking those people up for killing my child. Yeah, I know, right? I would be so fucking pissed. Like, you didn't even... She didn't even need the surgery? And you're telling me she died? Oh, man. That's like shoot up a dentist office type of shit. Eric says, hello, Mr. Weathers. Marcus says, damn, dude. The Mexican dentist, she... Said she visited the U.S. and was shocked when she learned how expensive dental work is here. Alfredo's here. What's up, Alfredo? How are you doing? Yeah, that... I mean, you upsell stuff like, uh... You know, what do you upsell? You upsell stuff like on vacuum cleaners or, or cars, you know? You don't upsell stuff on fucking dental work. Dentist office next to Poncho's tried to sell me a bunch of extra shit that I didn't need. The girl they had ask, asking me was pretty and had, <laughs> and had huge knockers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say no to that shit. It's like, I need I need a whole set of teeth, okay? Titties. <laughs> Titties and beer. Working, buddy. Right on. Uh, let's see. Marcus says... I'd be off the reservation, complete fucking warpath, man. Yeah, me too, man. Fuck with my kids like that? Jeez, that, that's ridiculous. Shoot up the dentist office shit. Classic. Upsells are for scotch guard on your carpet. That's what I'm saying, you know? You, you want a Bluetooth in your car? You, you want the GPS? Cool. You want four fucking cavities filled? Sure, why not? Fuck that. That's dumb. So, yeah... That happened in Austin. It's not like local, but Texas, it's local kind of shit. That's a fucking story. Yo. Yeah, Scotch Guard. That's the, that's the kind of shit. Damn, I got a damn toll bill, dickhead toll booths and shit. But he says, my old American dentist used to charge $85 to show up to show you the bacteria in your mouth via tele televised microscope. <laughs> Yeah, and what's what's good, man? They tr they try to upsell you this deep cleaning. Yeah, you need a deep cleaning. You haven't been to the dentist. Uh, it's been one week after the time you're supposed to be here, so you need a deep cleaning. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna give you nitrous. Uh, we're gonna 
we're gonna fucking massage your feet and you want the strawberry stuff right not not the normal shit so man fuck all that dentist bullshit now look if you got a dentist that you trust stick with that motherfucker um fuck some upselling dentists that's like that's some bullshit Kids are my weakness. I would be in jail for killing that douche. I know, right? How could you not go nuts on some jackass fucking dental hygienist that upsold you on four, you know, eight root canals and eight fillings? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. All right, let's move on. I'm getting frustrated. So tomorrow, tomorrow is National Unplugged Day. Um, I don't know who comes up with these fucking days. Johnny's here. What's up, Johnny? He said it's been a while. Thanks for watching, man. How in the hell did I just get a damn $15 toll? That sucks. I think uh, if you don't have the toll tag, they charge you more. That way you're so like you're more inclined to get the toll tag. And what sucks about the toll tag, you have to give them like, you have to okay an automatic draft from your account. So they, they get your credit card information and, and they take out $40. And uh, the tolls just tick down out of that forty until you get ten dollars left in your in your account. Then they take out another forty dollars until that forty dollars is all the way done. And then they take out another forty dollars. And fuck the tollways, man! Didn't we pay taxes to have these tolls tollways built? Didn't we pay to have them built? Now we're like paying to have to use them. Jesus Christ! <clears throat> taxes, fucking taxes. Oh my God, taxes. All right, so you make money, your business, you work for a business, they gotta pay payroll taxes, you gotta pay income taxes, you wanna drive a car, cool. You gotta pay taxes to get that shit registered. Uh, say you wanna sell your car, uh, you, gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta fucking pay taxes to, to transfer the title. Um, so if you wanna have your car sold to somebody else, they got to get the title put in their name, which is more fucking taxes. If a car has been sold three times, it's been taxed three fucking times already. Uh, yeah, fucking taxes, bro. Eddie says, hi, kids. They used to only charge what you owed. I got a, I got billed a dollar. The tollways in Austin aren't even owned by American. It's bullshit on tolls. Damn right it is. I ain't unplugged shit. Just put it down and go outside. Uh, oh shit. Oh, sorry. Cars are the biggest money pit. Yeah, and then like if you want to drive that car legally, not only do you have to pay for the registration, you got to pay taxes to get your goddamn license. I mean, it's like what is not taxed? What is not taxed? Anything you buy is taxed. Any privilege you have is taxed. I want to go outside and I want to kill a fucking deer so I can eat it. You gotta pay for the goddamn hunting license. I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated. I gotta calm down. Tollways are owned by private companies, yes, and all these toll roads they're building are subsidized with taxes. Dear lease, cars are the money, biggest money pit. Yes, there are. Tomorrow is National Unplug Day, and I'm thinking, who makes up these fucking days? Like, it was National Margarita Day last week. Uh, today's National Unplugged Day. Do you have to like fill out an application so you can get like your national day? Like I want to make National Smoke Break Day. Who do I got to talk to? Like my state representative or some shit? Potato chips are taxed. Everything's taxed. We can see the frustration rising. Now part of it's like that I'm really pissed off about this, but part of it's like I feel like shit and I'm about to vomit. So it's culminating <laughs> in uh, together. So yeah. Scott says, I need my music tomorrow so I am not contributing to this unplugged crap. I am staining a couple hundred pieces of wood for my fence and desk, desk roof. Burton says, real trill shit, man. You know, what the fuck? I know you can buy a star. Yeah, you can buy a fucking star. And you know what's taxed? The purchase of the fucking star. You know? Shit. When is it? When is National Call into Work and Watch Smoke Break instead day? That's tomorrow. What day would you make National Smoke Break? Yes, I'd make National Smoke Break day. 
I'm with you, Dylan. Screw all these made-up national consumer holidays. Yeah, uh, fucking, like, Valentine's Day? Somebody made that shit up. Uh, Christmas? Some dude in a marketing firm made that shit up. Um, well, I mean, this whole Jesus birthday and shit. But we buy so much stupid shit on Christmas. It's, it's dumb. My cigarette went out because I've been rambling. Hallmark is the Illuminati. I ain't even fucking around. Hallmark is the Illuminati. All right, so did you guys hear about this? U.S. Attorney General Jeff, Jeff Sessions, he spoke two times with the Russian ambassador to the United States during the election, during the presidential election. Um, that doesn't make any fucking sense. They're saying that this guy's got to recuse himself. They're saying that he broke the law. They want him to resign. And uh, this Russian thing, like with this, it's kind of like a reoccurring theme with this fucking, uh, with this presidency and shit. Now, how much of it is true? I don't know. Ruit, what's a ruit? Let's see. Y'all got some comments about some shit. Hallmark made up Valentine's Day to bridge the Christmas card and Easter card sales. Lol. If you actually add up what we pay in taxes in total on an annual basis, including all types of taxes assessed, we actually pay somewhere in the neighborhood of 42 to 44 percent of our income to taxes. That's fucking bullshit. And I believe it, you know. <clears throat> But, I mean, I understand tax money is required to make this country work. There's a lot of shit that has to be paid for. There's a lot of infrastructure and all this other shit. But that seems like a little bit much. Baby with the heat today. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that, that happened with that fucking attorney, attorney general. That dude, I don't fucking know what it means. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump are besties. I saw one of these friends videos um, of Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump's friendship. I think I saw it on Cody's Cody's, Cody's uh, Facebook page. That was funny. Clifford says, man, smoke break is a shit full of info, hands down. Boom, hands down. And I, I, I try to be objective, you know, um, even though I, I failed horribly at it because I've given you my opinions on all of it, but whatever. All right, so this is this is kind of shitty. Um, in, in the United States recently, there have been lots of threats against Jewish community centers uh, around the nation. And that kind of pisses me off. Denton's here. What's up, Denton? And so, um, and remember this, like a couple weeks ago, there, there are all sorts of Jewish uh, cemeteries where the headstones are fucked up. And so I guess there's like a resurgence of anti-Semitism. And that's kind of dumb. I think that's dumb as fuck. I can say that clap was a record if the longest clap ever heard of. And to top it off, it was live on TV right on. And so if you see anybody dropping some anti-Semitist shit, uh, tell them they're a dumbass. We, we don't need to tolerate that kind of shit. It's like, I'm not trying to be racist against the racists, but I will be. I'll be sure to let the racist know, hey, you're a fucking prick. Um, and that's, you know, th pisses me off. Don't be a, da a dickhead to the to the Jewish folks. Don't be a dickhead to anybody. Um, so that's a news fucking story. Oh, guys, did you hear uh, Snapchat went public? Uh, Snapchat's mother company or you know, subsidiary, the company that runs Snapchat is called Snap, and they went public. And apparently they were uh, they were being traded for twenty four dollars a share or some shit, and uh, that's a big fucking deal. That's the money segment of the smoke break, fucking money. All right, and uh, this is kind of nasty. This is really fucking kind of kind of what? Why would you say that, bro? That's not cool at all, man. I'm not gonna read that shit. Actually, I'm gonna delete that shit. That's not funny. Hate Thy Neighbor on Vice Land is a good show regarding racism. We live in a hateful world. Yeah, we do. We do. There's a lot of hate and hate hate sells. But I wanted to talk about... Um, I was distracted by that horribly, 
horribly racist comment. Uh, give me a second. I got to compose myself. <sighs> Don't be dick. Don't be dick. Okay, so like uh, they did this study about the amount of pee in pools. Turns out there's eight gallons of pee in a 110,000 pool. This is like, these are public pools. And it's even more for... Uh, for hot tubs so public pools are nasty you know the civic center pool uh that's fucking gross i used to swim in that as a kid it was like a dollar to get in that motherfucker i think it's a dollar fifty now i'm telling how much pee is floating around in that shit Ugh. anyway i'm gonna wrap this shit up because uh, my head hurts check out 1500crew.com check out precision privacy and stain.com uh you can also check out the smoke break Oh, check it out. It's a fucking spider. Ah! You can also check out the Smoke Break YouTube page. Just search Smoke Break with Dylan. Uh, give it a like and shit. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow at 1230. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better. Yo, take it easy.